MG are bringing out a new electric SUV, a crossover. It's an alternative to a BYD Addo 3 or a Tesla Model Y. It's bigger than MG's previous electric car. So it'll be bigger than a BYD Addo 3 and probably similarly sized to a Tesla Model Y. Here's what we know about this electric car so far. Should you wait off buying another EV and wait for one of these? Well, I'm not sure if I can answer that question, but I can tell you this. It will be very, very well priced. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This is the new MG EHS. This is everything we know so far. First of all, I think it looks pretty good. It's a significant improvement in the looks department versus MG's current crossover. Uh, so that's, that's nice to see. Now, for one, I've got to point out MG is not a British car brand. MG, the brand, basically uh, ceased to exist and it was purchased by Chinese company Sake Motors around about 15 years ago. Anyhow, this is their new electric car. I think it's really worth having a good look at this, guys, because the MG4 electric car, it's gotten a lot of good reviews. Quality control, not so much, but in general, it's gotten a lot of good reviews, and people say it's quite a good car, especially good value for money. This will probably be cheaper than a Tesla Model Y. In fact, likely to be about 10% cheaper for a similarly sized vehicle. According to sources, the vehicle will be built on MG's new modular scalable platform or MSP, which is called Nebula. Unlike its predecessor, the EHS will be produced in right-hand drive for consumers in Australia, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom. And possibly also, they plan on selling this in Malaysia and Thailand. So we know that it's likely that this vehicle will have a front wheel drive version and also an all-wheel drive version. But considering the fact that MG seems to be moving away from front-wheel drive, the MG4 is rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, there's no front-wheel drive now for the MG4, or there never was, in fact, that would mean it's very likely this will also come in a rear-wheel drive version and an all-wheel drive version. So what about seating? It's not going to be a seven-seater. It's not that big of a vehicle. It'll be a five-seat vehicle. And it's likely to actually come with the X power. So the MG for the X powers motors provide that vehicle with around about 450 horsepower or about 360 kilowatt a lot of power in that vehicle but apparently there will be a version of this vehicle I've, I'm hearing sources in China say where this vehicle will be manufactured that will have a, the same motors so it's likely you'll see the MG4 motors used in this EV as well now incredibly apparently this new vehicle is capable of actually having a battery pack size of 150 kilowatt hours, which is absolutely massive. Will it have a battery pack in it that size? No, but apparently the design patents have said it can use utilize a battery that big. And if it did have a battery that big, it'd have more than a thousand kilometers or more than 600 miles of range, which seems extremely unlikely. One thing we do know though, is that the MG4 uses batteries from CATL. CATL have significantly improved their battery technology over the past six months. So the new batteries they're manufacturing have more range. They have much higher energy density. There's a good chance that this new vehicle will have up to 700 kilometers of range, meaning it could be a good alternative to other manufacturers because it's likely to have uh, CATL's new lithium ion phosphate batteries. They're very, 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 very good at fast charging, even in cold temperatures, much better than normal lithium ion phosphate batteries. And that's one of the Achilles heel to BYD electric cars, the fast charging speeds are a bit less than their rivals. For example, Hyundai's Ioniq 5 can charge at 350 kilowatt charging speeds. So that's something that MG are gonna focus on. BYD, they're our biggest competitor. How do we beat them? Let's put in faster charging. Now it's also likely to have two different battery options. Lithium ion phosphate battery for the standard version of the car. And then in the more expensive versions, it'll have a lithium ternary battery, most likely an NMC. So nickel manganese cobalt battery pack from CATL. So far, that's about all we know on this new MG electric car. Either way, I think it's gonna be a good vehicle. Would I wait for it? Probably not. The reason being, it's not likely to come out until towards the end of 2024. Unfortunately, we're still a ways off seeing this new EV. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.